Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another webinar series brought to you by Cavendish University, Uganda. I am Alice Akiteng Okure, the university librarian. I am here to give you highlights on how to make the library work for you. Emphasis is going to be on how to make, um, how user center, emphasis is going to be on user centered approaches to digital library resources in Cavendish University, Uganda. What is Cavendish University, Uganda? Cavendish University, Uganda is a university that started in 2008 and is licensed and accredited by the National Council of Higher Education. Cavendish University, Uganda has the following faculties. The Faculty of Business and Management, the Faculty of Social Economic Sciences, the Faculty of Law, the School of Postgraduate Studies and Research, the Department of Public Health. These departments are greatly supported by the library. The library is here to support the teaching, learning, and research in those respective faculties. Since the inception of Cambridge University in 2008, the numbers have risen exponentially and this implies that the library branches have also increased from one to four. The main library is situated in Siani Plaza on Block B, and it is called Siani Main Library. It serves the Faculty of Science and Technology. We have a library in Kingsgate, and it serves the Faculty of Business and Management the Faculty of Social Economic Sciences, and the Department of Public Health. We have a library in Acacia on Block 38, Bukoto Street, and it serves Faculty of Law. On Yetsiani Plaza, we have the School of Postgraduate Studies and Research Library that serves the postgraduate students and researchers. I would like to invite you to this webinar again, and kindly request your friends to join the webinar. Um, registration is ongoing, and classes start on the 19th of August. We also have special offers for students. Students who refer other students get a 10% discount, but this 10% discount only happens after the student has registered and enrolled. Um, we also have a scholarship program that is ongoing, and this is an academic excellence program. This scholarship is legible for students who scored 12 points and above. So please tell your relatives, friends, and in-laws who scored 12 points and above to come and join Cavendish University, Uganda. Um, in the library, we have the following units. We have the acquisitions unit, and this unit is responsible for identifying, selecting, ordering, and purchasing information resources. We have the technical unit. The technical unit is responsible for processing, cataloging, classifying, shelving, all the information resources that have been received. We have the user services. The user services is responsible, the, the user services is responsible for ensuring that the general user environment in the library is conducive for readers. We have the electronic unit, and this unit is responsible for ensuring that online resources are subscribed to um, all online links are working, the uh, electronic equipment in the library is working, and in all, these units greatly support each other and we are able to run the library efficiently. Uh, these physical libraries um, house the print resources. And what do I mean by print resources? The print resources comprise of the physical books, the textbooks, the print journals, 
the newspapers, the audiovisual equipment, the CDs that we receive, and the student research works. However, in this digital era, we are living in a paradigm shift. And many libraries globally are moving from physical to electronic. Most of the resources in these libraries are digitized. What do I mean by digitization? Digitization is simply the conversion of analog resources to digital format, and these are accessible using digital devices. In this era, students and other users who come to the campus have uh, smartphones, iPhones, and other digital devices. So they are able to access the library from wherever we are. And that is why Cavendish University, Uganda, has come up with um, measures of ensuring that we move towards the digital era. Previously, um, the physical books were majorly the ones in use, but now users prefer using electronic books. They also preferred using print journals, but now there is a shift towards print journals. Um, those in the traditional era, there were print catalogs, physical catalogs, book catalogs, but now everything has been made digital. We have the open public access catalog. When we are doing our data entry, we use systems in place that are able to, to, to generate for us these open public access catalogs, and these are available on the intranet and on the extranet as well. So I can see some people have joined us. Uh, Sandra is happy. She's giving us a thumbs up, a thumbs up here. Thank you, Sandra. Um, I welcome you again to this webinar. Those who have just joined in, please invite your friends to continue joining. Um, I'm going to also talk about the advantages of having uh, digital resources in libraries. Digital resources uh, enable the university to save on space. Previously, with print resources, would need vast amount of space, but with digitization in place, you don't need a lot of space. All you do is need, you, you need um, space maybe on a server, in the cloud, and in addition to that, um, the cost of maintaining the library is greatly saved. Uh, users uh, just come online and are able to access these resources online, and this lowers the maintenance costs of the libraries. There is also increased access. I would say that the access to these information resources is based on one-to-one, -one, the ratio one-to-one, -one, which is recommended. Because for every user, at a given point in time, they are able to access the, the, one, the, the, the same resource at the same time. That means that there's multiple access to the same resource. There is also easy retrieval, because with digital resources in place, one just goes online and searches, and then quickly the search result is displayed. Um, there's also preservation and conservation. With the traditional uh, resources in place, they wear out this degeneration of the resources, but with digital resources, they can last for over 20 years. So those are some of the advantages we have in place. Now, um, I mentioned that Cavendish University Library is a member of the consortium of the Uganda University Libraries. And through this consortium, we are able to access uh, vast digital resources, some of which are LibHub. LibHub is a meta database. And through this meta database, we are able to access online resource, online journals and articles. And you know, it's very uh, advantageous to use journals because they are updated, they are relevant, and they are peer reviewed and Basically, they are the way to go in this digital era. Through the consortium, again, we are able to access eBook Central, 
And eBook Central is a database that enables us access electronic books. These books are downloadable and users can access them from wherever they are. We are lucky enough that the university greatly supports the library department and we have, through a proxy, been able to enable all our users get login credentials. So they can log into eBook Central and they are able to access these eBooks from anywhere in the world. Um, we have uh, Koha in place. Koha is a library management system that has many modules in it. We are able to do our cataloging. Previously, cataloging was done manually, but now with Koha in place, we are able to use Z39 searches and cataloging happens within a blink of an eye. We are able to, to do our circulation to our users through the system, and we have done away with the manual way of catalog of circulating books to our users. We are able to purchase books online through the system. We get in touch with the suppliers, and then they, we make orders, and all those are delivered online. Um, Koha is also able to generate for us reports, any report that we want from the system, for example, reports on book overdues, the most circulated item, reports when we are doing uh, our stock taking and inventory, Koha is able to do that for us. So uh, credit goes to all the library staff who have uh, put in a lot of effort towards making the library transform from a digital to, I mean, from an analog physical library to, uh, to a digital library. And this has made our work greatly efficient. Um, we also have uh, an institutional repository. And this institutional repository houses academic papers published by the staff, uh, the dissertations written by our students, the journals from the various faculties, and inaugural speeches in various formats, both audio and video. Um, Cavendish University Library has also come up with um, a mi library microlink. And this library mi microlink uh, houses all the different resources and services and facilities that I have talked about. When you click, I, I, let me actually put it in here, the URL for the library microlink, so that while you are watching, you can go and visit this library microlink. .sc.ug slash library. Please enter this link and try it out. You will be able to see all the different systems, the services that I am talking about, that happen in Cavendish University Library. Um, Cavendish University Library has also come up with mini libraries, and these mini libraries are uh, inserted in the library OPAC. What we have done with these mini libraries is we have tried to identify the different course units that are taught in Cavendish University, and then we have downloaded uh, information materials and stored them in those respective uh, folders so that when our users come to the library, they can easily access them without wasting time. This is also advantageous because during times when there's no internet on campus, our users can easily access them. Um, ongoing is a, a journal, online journal management system, which we are trying to come up with so that it, it comprehensively handles online journals produced from the respective faculties. Now, Cavendish University library staff have come up with various approaches. These approaches are intended to help our users be able to, to maximize the access and usage of those respective resources that I have, that I have talked about. One of the approaches that we as library staff have come up with is um, 
ensuring that subscription to these online resources through the consortium happens. This subscription is done annually and after this subscription, we are able to access the LibHub and the eBook Central. So I greatly thank management and Cavendish University administration that supports us towards that course. Pause. The second um, approach that we are using as library staff is to ensure that library systems are up and running because uh, without these systems in place, and even if they are installed, they sometimes get outdated. So they have to be regularly updated and then uh, access is ensured. We also conduct uh, student orientation to incoming students and staff. And during this orientation um, programs, we showcase to our respective users the different services and uh, how to access these resources. Um, library staff have also done a great job in identifying comprehensive lists of freely accessible online sites for both journals and um, e-books. Now, after identifying these resources, we come up with a mini abstract for each database, and then we compile it and we upload it on the library micro website and also on the open public access catalog. Um, we also communicate with our users via email on any recent library developments, any resources that have come in on the current acquisition selection procedures. Um, we have also developed uh, library brochures and newsletters, which we regularly from time to time circulate to our users. This is via the intranet and also emails. We have also developed simple to follow user guides uh, on how to access the different systems that we have. And these user guides have been uploaded on the library micro link. Kindly visit that link that I I, I circulated to you, and then you'll be able to see all those resources and services. For those who have just joined us, I am Alice Akiteng, the university librarian, and I'm talking about how to, to make the library friendly to you. Cavendish University, Uganda has four faculties. For those who don't know, we have the Faculty of Business and Management, we have the Faculty of Science and Technology, we have the Faculty of Social Sciences and Economics, and the School of Postgraduate Studies and Research. These are greatly supported by the libraries. We have various library branches due to the growing numbers. We have been able to come up with four branches. The main branch, Siani, on Siani Plaza, serves the Faculty of Science and Technology. Kingsgate uh, Campus has a, a library that serves the Faculty of, Science, of, of Business and Management, the Faculty of Social Economic Sciences and the Department of Public Health. We have a library in Acacia serving the law students. It's on Block 38, Mukoto Street. We have a library that serves the School of Postgraduate Studies and it's located on the third floor of Siani Plaza. I invite you to this webinar and kindly invite your friends. Tell them that enrollment is happening. We are currently registering students. And uh, for every student who refers another, he or she gets a 10% discount. So if you refer to students, you get a 20% discount. So please hurry up while registration happens. I, I welcome you kindly. If you have any questions, you can.
keep asking them. I can see good news. Alfred is saying that we are doing well. Success begins at Cavendish. Thank you very much. Please ensure that you join Cavendish University and come and enjoy the various resources that we have, that we offer through the library. I thank you.